on our backs, tucking your knees to your chest, rolling back and forth. The school shares an integrated partnership with the Newcastle Knights, which has a symbiotic effect for both parties, with the club in active recruitment of athletes who will need to commit to an education. Over the last few years, I guess the, the Knights has become um, fairly heavily involved in, in the program in, in a number of ways. I'm employed as the SG ball coach at the Newcastle Knights, so there's a really good, good clear connection there between the school and the Knights. The start of the process is recruitment. That process will commence with, you know, our, our list managers, our recruitment guys. They'll obviously gain an interest in, in getting that particular player to, to Newcastle. If they're at a school age, um, that schooling is very, very important to us. That's where the relationship will commence with the school. We'll liaise with the teachers and the staff here at Hunter Sports. Once they're here, they'd be training with, with us um, three, three times a week of an afternoon. However, fundamentally, the same sort of programs will be here at the school as far as his rugby league goes. And I, I guess what we try and do is find a bit of cohesion in what they're doing here at the school uh, and then bring that into our systems as well. While school representative commitments remain the priority, a number of athletes will also train and play for the club, with several holding contracts directly with the Knights. Hey boys, just size in here. One thing I would like to see too when we're setting up for that puff, they are options those boys, all right? So if you see them shifting here nice and hard, drop that red runner off, reload. But study is not cast aside in this process. In fact, the holistic approach to guiding the student athletes through the heavy load of sport and school is the priority. Where we've probably taken it a step further, and that's this year, is on the back of then probably myself engaging at this school and sitting down at least once a term with our guys. And I guess a little bit of a check on how, how we're tracking in all those other components. He comes into the school and has an active part in, in talking to the students that are tied up with the Newcastle program and with the Hunter Sports High program, um, just about their behaviour and what the Knights' expectations are of them. We've tried to um, put a bit of a link with, I guess, some responsibility in, in, the, in our players. Your behaviour at school and your attendance and um, the things that you do at school, particularly academically, are just as important as, uh, as what they are you know, from a, from a rugby league point of view. Mate, the reason we've called you in today is to have a check-in interview. Um, so basically, um, we'll all talk to you a little bit about where these interviews will go for you while you're here at Hunter Sports, as you've only joined us recently. I'll show you a little bit about how I sort of track some of your stuff here at school and, and what I'll look to help you with. Dean works from the Knights' point of view and, and we communicate with each other and Tone works from that angle as well, as well as your training here at school. So here's your attendance over here, Matty. Okay, the greens are days that you're here for whole days. The pinks are whole days that you've missed school. We like mostly green, okay? And I mean, I think it's building that consistency which is obviously aligned to where we want our, our sporting students to be because, you know, they don't get positive outcomes and they don't get to where they want to be without having that consistency. And then with that consistency, we just hope that the other things flow on with it. They're dealing with adults more often, they're speaking to me. Just that continual communication, respect, learning to work together with adults, learning to communicate, um, being part of their planning for their future. So I, I think it has really increased the thought process for the students and getting them to be a bit more proactive within it. A lot of them seem to realise that that support is there and they seem to really enjoy that. 